what happens to safe deposit lockers when the sole account holder dies leaving no nominees that's a topic for discussion today in the market secrets investment series before we get started with the today's session i'd like to mention that we at market secrets had recently launched algo traders program atp if you are someone who is interested in learning end to end algo trading then you can consider joining our atp program i'll leave the link to it in the description section of this video and with that note let's jump into today's session on what happens to safe deposit lockers when the sole account holder dies leaving no nominees so let's start our session with some assumptions so this is a single holding account and not a joint account so it's a sole holder account and there are no nominations available for the safe deposit locker so nomination for safe deposit locker is different from the nomination for the bank account so even though you have a bank account and the locker in the same bank you need to provide separate nomination so in this case there is no nomination available for the locker okay so now in that case what are the documents we need to claim the locker first one the account holders death certificate okay so whoever is owning the locker their death certificate needs to be provided and you need to provide proof of legal representation so which can either be a will so will will be written by the account holder right so if they have uh, any will written then we can provide that as a legal uh, representation or uh, the succession certificate from the revenue department which is nothing but the legal hire certificate or we can use the court decree okay so court will uh, decide who are the legal hires or who are the successors okay so we can provide either of these three documents so once you submit the claim what the bank will do is like while providing you with the access to the locker first the bank will come with you and it will prepare list of items in the locker so in case if there are any legal troubles in the future the bank can refer to this particular list so two officers will come with you and they'll also you know take a note of list of items in the locker and now uh, when it comes to providing with you access if there is a will the access will be provided to the executioner of the will so if you take any will right there will be an executioner so the bank will automatically give access to executioner of the will in case there is no will okay so if there is only a succession certificate or a decree right the access will be provided to the legal representative as per the succession certificate or the decree so whose name is on the succession certificate or the decree right uh, to them the bank will provide the access but in any case bank will prepare list of items in the locker while handing over the access so this is what happens to bank lockers if the sole account holder dies leaving no nomination if you have any queries comments or feedback about this episode leave it down in the comment section i'll be happy to address it also hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful also subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session thanks for watching have a great day goodbye